in this video we will discuss about the tablets in this we have to study the definition classification excipients and formulation step especially the granulation and compression then defects coating and quality controls of tablets in this video we will discuss in detail about the definition and classification of tablets coming to the definition tablet is defined as a solid pharmaceutical dosage form which is intended to be administered mainly through oral route containing drug substances with or without suitable diluent and prepared either by compression or molding method in another definition according to the indian pharmacopeia pharmaceutical tablets are flat or biconvex disc prepared by compressing a drug or a mixture of drug with or without suitable diluents so that is the definition now coming to the advantages of tablets when compared with other dosage form we will discuss the advantages in two standpoint from patient standpoint as well as from manufacturer state standpoint now let's discuss the patient standpoints what are the advantages it is easy to carry it is easy to swallow and attractive in appearance when compared with the other liquid dosage forms and pleasant taste can be masked by sugar coating do not require any measurement of dose when compared with the parenterals or compared with the other liquid dosage forms and tablets can be packed by strip or blister packing so that it will help the patient to take as well as to remember the dose when uh, the label as uh, the days in behind the labels of blister or strip packing and uh, strip packing also will protect uh, the medicaments of tablets from atmospheric condition and it is easy to divide into two half and quarter by drawing line during the manufacturing to facilitate uh, the breakage whenever a fractionation fractional dose is required now from manufacturer standpoint of view tablet have a lot of advantages the accurate amount of medicament can be administered even if it is very small uh, if it is 10 mg or 40 mg etc prolonged the stability of medicaments towards the chemical mechanical and bio micro microbiological attack and incompatibility and deteriorations are less when compared with the liquid uh, dosage forms easiest and cheapest method to package as well as shipment are available for tableting and specialized tablets like endory coated tablets which are intended to dissolve in gas or intestinal ph and sustained release tablets which are intended to release for a prolonged period can be used for the modification of drug release and product identification is simplest and cheapest by uh, embossed on a monogram or on the pen faces so we can identify the each unit of tablets from a strip itself now coming to the disadvantages Uh, even though we have so many disadvantages tablets have some dis disadvantages like drug with amorphous nature or flo flocculent or low density character which will resist to for the compression uh, into the dense compact so this type of drug cannot be converted to the tablet formulation the drug with pure wetting and slow dis dissolution properties or any combination of these features may be difficult for or impossible into formulate the manufacturer as the tablet that uh, will still provide inadequate bioavailability and drug with bitter taste objectionable odor sensitivity to oxygen or atmosphere may be require encapsulation or entrapment of granules prior to the compression or tablet which are requiring coating has to be uh, encapsulated with other polymers in order to uh, uh, prevent the protect test objectionable order and sensitivity towards the oxygen now coming to classification of tablets tablet can be classified into four according to their route of administration or function 
tablet which are ingested orally tablet which are used in oral cavities and tablet administered by oral other route and tab tablet used to prepare the solution now coming to the first one compressed tablets these are formed by compression and it do not containing special coating coating uh, materials and it are made from powdered crystalline granular materials alone or in combination with diluent binders disintegrant lubricant anti adherent or uh, many cases color colorants so uh, the compressed tablet containing drug soluble drugs which after swallowing get disintegrated in the stomach and it drug content are absorbed into the gastrointestinal tract and distributed to the all over the body examples for compressed tablets are any conventional tablets like aspirin paracetamol etc without any coating now coming to the second group of uh, tablets which are ingested orally they are multiple compressed tablets they are compressed tablet made by more than one compression cycle so this can be made a multiple layer tablets or tablet within a tablets that means an inner tablet being a core tablet and outer portion being as a shell and another uh, we can uh, formulate a tablet with multiple layer one by one now layered tablets so these are uh, prepared by compressing an additional tablet granulation on previously compressed granulation the operation may be repeated to produce multiple layer tablets of two or three layer see special tablet pr press such as verse press or stock uh, pen wand are required for preparation of layered tablets these are prepared to separate the physical or chemical incompatible in ingredients or to produce repeat action or prolonged action of a same drugs to avoid incompatibility the ingredient of formulation except the in incompatible material are compressed into tablet and then incompatible substance along with necessary necessary excipient are composed over the previously compressed tablets so that is the layered tablets now coming to the sustained action tablets these are the tablets which are uh, intended to use orally and which are after the oral administration the release of drug at a desired time and prolong the effect of medicament the tablet when taken orally releases the medicament in sufficient quantity as and when required to maintain the maximum effective concentration of drug in the blood throughout the period of treatment example is diclofenac sr tablets so next time if you are seeing any tablets with uh, name sr after the brand name of any drug it means sustained release it is intended to release the tablet for a long period of time uh, so that is sustained release tablets next one is endary coated tablets these are compressed tablet mean, meant for administration uh, through orally by swallowing and which are designed to disintegrate intestine only after bypassing the stomach it will not dissolve in the stomach it will only dissolve in indus uh, indus intestine only so these tablets are how to be coated with a material which is ph sensitive which will not dissolve in acidic media and which will dissolve in alkaline media so material like cellulose acetate phthalate or polymethacrylate which are resistant to acidic ph are used for this purpose so we should not one thing we should not crush this kind of tablet so we should not uh, uh, split into two half and we have to take the endary coated tablet it will leads to ineffective uh, ineffectivity of the tablets now examples of endary coated tablets are uh, tablets containing anti helminthics amebiocytes and some proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole pantoprazole all these are uh, prepared as endary coated uh, tablets now coming to the sugar coated tablets these are compressed tablet containing a sugar coating and the sugar coating are mainly uh, performing to mask the better and unpleasant odor odor and the taste of medicament also to make more elegant and it safeguard the drug from the atmospheric uh, effect also next one is film coated tablets 
these are compressed tablets having a filling coating of some polymer substances such as hydroxy propyl cellulose hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose or ethyl cellulose main intention of filling coating is to protect the medicament from the atmospheric pressure the filling coated tablets are generally tasteless and it will increases the brittle weight of the tablet as well as it has less elegant than that of the sugar coated tablets so that is film coated tablets next one is chewable tablet as the name indicate the tablet are required to be broken and chewed in between the teeth before the ingestion so we should use an sweetening agent usually mannitol is used as an sweetening agent but due to the it is expensive the substances like sorbitol lactose chocolate powder dextrose or glycerin can be substituted instead of Uh, manito and uh, do not require any disintegrating agent in this kind of tablet because in this we uh, we are chewing this one and broken in between the teeth before ingestion so examples of chewable tablets are antacid like gelucil digin tablets then multivitamin tablets and multivitamin c uh, chewable tablets like selin are example for chewable tablets now coming to the next group of tablets tablet which is used in the oral cavity like buccal sublingual lozenges and dental gum coming to the first one buccal tablets these are the tablets which are to be placed the side of cheeks or buccal pouch where they dissolve or erode slowly and absorb directly into the buccal cavity without passing into the alimentary canal and they are formulated and compressed with the sufficient pressure to give a hard tablet example is progesterone tablets next one is sublingual tablets these are the tablet which are intended to be placed under the tongue where they dissolve and disintegrate quickly and are absorbed directly into the systemic circulation without passing to the gastrointestinal tract uh, example like uh, uh, tablets of nitroglycerin isoprotenol uh, hydrochloride then et ethyl tetranitrate are example for sublingual tablets now coming to the next lozenges tablets these are designed to exert a local effect in the mouth or throat used to treat sore throat or to control the coughing or in common cold they mainly containing local anesthetics antiseptic antibacterial agent astringents as well as antitussis and they are prepared by compression at high pressure by molding process generally they containing a sweetening agent a flavoring agent like peppermint or clove oil <coughs> and substances which produce cooling effect like menthol examples are wicks lozenges strepsils lozenges are examples now coming to the next one dental cones these are compressed tablets meant for uh, placement in the empty socket after the tooth extraction and it is used to prevent the multiplication of bacteria in the socket following such extraction by using slow releasing antibacterial compound or to reduce the bleeding by uh, substances by containing astringents the tablet containing excipient like lactose sodium bicarbonate and sodium chloride and these are generally it will get dissolved uh, in 20 to 40 minutes after the placement in the empty socket after the tooth extraction now next group of classification of tablet is tablet which is administered by other loop like implantation tablets and vaginal tablets now first one is implantation tablets these are the tablets which are placed under the skin or inserted subcutaneously by means of a su minor surgical operation and which will release uh, slowly as well as it will be absorbed slowly and these are made by heavy compression but commonly made by uh, fusion method this must be sterile and it should be kept individually as Uh, by keeping its sterility and it is mainly used to administer hormones such as testosterone steroid but there is an disadvantage the change in rate of release with the change in surface area and possibility of tissue reactions are some disadvantage 
and also we have to perform a minor surgery to deposit this kind of tablets that is implantation tablets now coming to the next tablets vaginal tablets these are meant to dissolve slowly in vaginal cavity and typically they will be ovoidal or pear shaped for easy insertion and used to release steroids as well as antimicrobial agents and tablets is often buffered to promote a pH favorable to the action of specified antimicrobial agents and they containing easily soluble component like lactose or sodium bicarbonates. Now coming to the last group, tablet used for, to prepare the solution like effervescence tablets, dispensing tablets, hypodermic tablets and tablet triturates. First one is effervescent tablets. These are the tablets along with the active medicine uh, containing some ingredients like sodium bicarbonate, citric acid and tartaric acid which will react in presence of water liberating carbon dioxide and producing effervescence leading to the disintegration of the tablets and it will hasten the solution formation as well as it will increase the palatability of uh, bitter taste uh, drugs or medicaments. Next uh, tablets is dispensing tablets. These tablets provide a convenient quantity of potent drugs that can be incorporated readily into powder and liquid so thus it will avoid the necessity of weighing of small quantities. These tablets are supplied primarily as a convenience for the extemporaneous compounding and should never be dispensed as dosage form and this is not intended to uh, intended for the internal use and also it is no longer used due to its toxicity examples like drug commonly incorporated as mild silver potentiate dichloride of mercuric bromide and quaternary ammonium compound which are mainly used to prepare the solutions next tablets is hypodermic tablets these are soft readily soluble tablets and which are originally were used for the preparation of solution which are to be injected so these tablets are dissolved in sterile or uh, water for injection and which are administered by parenteral rules but this preparation is not preferred nowadays because the resulting solution is always not sterile so we cannot use as a parenteral preparation so that is hypodermic tablets and last one is tablet triturates or molded tablets these are the ta powder molded into tablets they are flat circular disc usually containing potent substances mixed with lactose or sucrose or dextrose and with other uh, suitable diluent with the minimum amount of pressure uh, is applied during their manufacturing since they are intended to disintegrate very quickly in contact with the moisture water insoluble adjuvant should be avoided in tablet triturates and pharmacists also employ the tablet triturates in compounding for example triturates are inserted in capsule or dissolved in liquid to pro provide accurate amount of if a potent drug substance so these are the some questions which are seen in question paper from this portion define and classify tablets write a short note on endary coated tablets write the difference between buccal and sublingual tablets so hope it is clear thank you for watching this video